gosh. This is like a crystal field. If you take out the danger aspect, it looks quite beautiful, don't you think? You're right. It's pretty. Something tells me the map won't be of much use here. With all these crystals sprouting everywhere, the pathways are completely different from what's on the map. Isn't that what we've got you for? That's true, but I'm only good at applying what I've memorized. I'm not so great at forging completely new paths. What? Are you serious? Nope. <laughs> I'm actually quite good at that, too. There's a reason they sent me as Pathfinder's representative. <laughs> you got me good. Still, though, why are there so many crystals here? This was originally a moderate-sized city, right? It must be teeming with energy that could serve as nutrients for these crystals. And look over there! Crystal is lighting up the city of this size all on its own. I bet you can feel the heat emanating from it if you get close. It must be giving off a tremendous amount of energy. I am not entirely sure, but I'm willing to bet that thing is the source of all the other crystals. Or something important like that. If everyone else agrees, I say we make our way towards it. Wow, you're really raring to go. I've been that way from the start. If I didn't feel inspired after seeing it with my own eyes, I could hardly call myself someone with a thirst for knowledge. Interesting. I'll leave it to you to mark the map, Miss Shifty. Even if we don't know where we're going, we'll need to keep track of where we came from. Already on it. However, the alpha particle concentration here is stunningly low. This is the first time I've seen levels this low on the surface. We can investigate that later if we have time. There might be some connection between the alpha particles and the crystals. Fair enough. So, which way? Just go straight for now. There should be a fork in the road up ahead. I'll guide you once you get there. Okay, then I'll take the lead.